Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Agent Psycho. As you guys can tell by the title, this video is going to be a state of the channel kind of thing. You know how, if you guys live in America, you guys probably know how sometimes a president gives the State of the Union address, address or something like that, and other people have over the internet have done similar things. So, for this video, it's going to be a state of the channel in which I discuss um, things that are occurring right now and that affect this channel that are happening in my real life, if that makes sense. I probably could word that a lot better, but I'm too lazy, so whatever. Um, so yeah, first things first, I just want to mention that I am back home from college. Uh, my fall semester at uh, university or college, whichever you prefer to call, call it, has ended, and I drove back home with my parents who drove up um, you know, to my college to pick me up, and that was a lot of fun. Well, it wasn't because I had literally, normally it takes seven hours to drive from my place up to my college, usually. Um, that's con taking into consideration, um, you know, certain portions of traffic jams along the way and stuff like that. Um, I got here from my college to home in five, partly because I was, I was going to miss a little bit of Capcom Cup, um, which was last Saturday, if you guys didn't know. If you guys don't know what the Capcom, Capcom Cup is, it's basically this grand finale of the Street Fighter um, 4 uh, Pro Tour that's hosted by, obviously, Capcom. So, I was, I was, I really wanted to watch that mainly because for the Omega Mode exhibitions, which is already released now, apparently, and um, the Street Fighter 5 reveal, um, but, and, of course, the tournament too, but that's kind of why I drove down there in such a hurry. But anyways, now that I'm back home, um, all my parts, I mentioned before that um, I did get, or I did order parts for a new computer over Thanksgiving break, and most of them were here except for my graphics card. And when I looked through my email account to see if, you know, I was like wondering why isn't my graphics card here? Like, I, I know I ordered it with everything else right turns out I didn't order it for some reason like it if, apparently my mind thinks I actually ordered it during uh, Thanksgiving week when you know Black Friday and Saturday Monday and all that but apparently I didn't which is very strange um, so yeah I don't know where this connect is but oh well I bought a new one it's only 20 bucks more expensive and uh, yeah it actually got here like to literally two or no it came the day after after I ordered it, which is pretty sick, actually. Uh, apparently, they had it stored in Compton. Like, I checked the, I checked my email and it said your 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 graphics card being stored in Compton. What? <laughs> Anyways, not trying to bag on any 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 particular you know region or anything, but yeah, it's because of that. I guess it got, uh, because of that it got here so fast. Uh, so yeah, I do have all the parts of my computer. I've begun fixing or not fixing, assembling it with the help of my good friend protagonist, but um. We've run into a couple problems because I'm building it on a, uh, a mini tower. I'll put the entire, uh, I'll put the specs of the computer, all the parts that I bought, in the description below because I've gotten a couple of uh, requests uh, from people who wanted to know uh, what kind of build I was using or what kind of computer I was building. So I, if I remember, and hopefully I do, I will leave all the specific parts of my computer down in the description below so you guys can check it out. But um, yeah, I'm building a computer. Um, hopefully I will get that done by this week, but the problems that we're running into, like for some reason, I, I have this bad feeling that some of the parts that I ordered didn't come with everything. Like for example, my I ordered a Bit Phoenix Phantom case, and um, it's a mini tower Bit Phoenix Phantom case, Nvidia Black Edition. And uh, I looked up a video on how, what its internals was supposed to look like, and but that particular video showed like this rack where um, this metal rack where the hard drives are supposed to go, except my computer didn't have that. Now, granted, the computers they showed on the video weren't necessarily the NVIDIA Black Edition, I could tell, but it's like, well, if they're, if they're basically the same case, why didn't mine come with that rack? Like, that would have been kind of handy, in fact, because it kind of, without that, it kind of complicates matters of where we should put, or where I should put my 2 terabyte hard drive, and where my motherboard should go, and it just, it, right now, things have been complicated, which I kind of expected, because usually whenever I do something that's like, like, 
plan things out or build something like a new computer or something like that. Usually there's a couple things that go wrong. If there if there isn't something that goes wrong, then that means I've used up my luck for the entire month. That's just how it works. Um, I'm not trying to exaggerate or anything. That's literally how it is. So yeah, that's that. Um, but assuming that everything does go well, I haven't broken my motherboard in, in half or blown up my computer trying to boot it up because I, you know, miswired a couple things or something. Um, I should be able to get it running by this weekend and hopefully, uh, you know, be able to get some recording programs on there and just be able to stream from it and everything and, you know, voila and everything all that. So, yeah, that's, that's what I've got to say for that. Um, so yeah, looking, looking forward to that. Though building is just a fucking motherfucking pain in the ass right now. Um, on top of all the fucking, you know, boxes and wrappers and everything else I have to throw away after this. Uh, as you guys can, uh, if you guys can hear this, those are the keys of my new, uh, my new Black Widow Ultimate Keyboard. I was going to buy either the KGB, the Corsair KGB 7, um, K70s, I think they're called. The, um, the backlit LED, uh, cherry switch, you know, keyboard, whatever, or the Razer Chroma. Now, I wanted to buy the Razer Chroma because I'm, I'm more familiar with Razer products, and, um, I've, I've heard from my brother that, uh, who is, you know, who builds, my brother, just so you guys know, my fucking brother builds computers as a hobby. <laughs> I mean, he's an engineer, and he's an engineer after all, so that's kind of not surprising, but still, you know, that's kind of crazy. But in any case, um, he told me that, Corsair is not really known for their keyboards, though the K70s, from from what I've seen and heard, is really really cool. And the fact that um, you can actually download custom uh, backlit patterns from the, you know from forums and stuff like that, where people actually program it for you and put it on uh, you know on forums or anything or, or something like that for other people to download and you know put on their keyboards. Um, really was really appealing but like i said i was more familiar with razer keyboards you know they've already had the successful black widow ultimate which i bought for now uh, because my brother sent me a link that had literally was on black friday and the black widow ultimate was literally for half off and something like that i don't think i could pass up so i bought that this one instead and honestly i'm really happy with it because you know my i just my the keyboard on my original laptop is a chiclet keyboard and for Guys, just so you guys know, chiclet keyboards are absolute utter shit. Like, there's nothing really bad about them, but if you really, if you're, if you're typing like long essays, or if you're playing a lot of video games, then, or I don't know about the video game part, but especially if you're writing long essays, or if you're going to class that you know have you involved typing a lot, then chiclet keyboards are just not meant for you. It's just for me anyway. It's just kind of hard to. It gets a no really annoying when I have to backspace like every other you know twenty words to because I ex I realized that you know one of my buttons didn't input correctly when I thought it did so that was really fucking annoying. With the Blackwood Ultimate, thankfully I don't have to worry about that for the most part. Like ninety nine percent of all the things that you know my button inputs that I thought that I went through but didn't have basically been removed. So I'm really happy with the um the Razer keyboard that I have right now, the Blackwood Ultimate. So love it, love the green backlit stuff. I think it's super sick and. Um, um, yeah, that's just nothing else more to say about it. Tried, tested, proven. I mean, protagonist, uh, my my good friend and I basically have the same keyboard now. And I've used this keyboard a couple times. I've loved it. And, uh, yeah, this keyboard's awesome. So, that being said, um, I have now, if you guys can tell already, there's obviously Combat Arms gameplay on this video. And um, I am going to go back to, you know, playing a lot of Combat Arms for gameplays and whatnot. Like, used before, I used to do a lot of series. Now, I don't really think I'm in the mood for that because I'll explain this later why I'm not really in the mood, but uh, for, you know, to make a lot of videos anymore. But. I will be recording and playing a lot of CA, so if you guys see me online, then feel free to say hi. Please don't be a douchebag, because I know a lot of people are out there. I think the first gameplay that you'll see in this video, I don't know which one which one it is, but it's the gameplay, or how I'm going to order them, but the gameplay that features me on Crystal Tower, if you're using the, uh, what were the guns I used? The L96 and the JNG90. There was this one douchebag asshole, who, who I've known for quite some time now, whose name exactly like mine, except it's more phonetically, uh, you know, spelled, who, it's, it was pretty obvious he was trying to hunt me down every single time he could get the chance, so please don't be that guy, like, I don't have the patience for that anymore like I used to, and I don't 
really feel like dealing with dealing with kind of, with you kinds of assholes. So if you could, if you guys could not do that, that'd be great. Just say hi, just be chill, and we'll all be good and gravy. Um, so yeah, most likely from now on, if you see me online, I'll probably be recording like I used to in the good old days when I used to record everything. But that's it for another story. Anyways, so like I mentioned before, uh, when I said when I mentioned I'm not in the mood to make a lot of videos. Now it's come to the point where I guess you could say that constantly uploading videos has taken a toll on me, not physically or mentally or anything, but yeah, I would say mentally. It's just having the responsibility of having to upload a video every single day, especially when I used to upload four videos a day. When and you know, even before that, I used to upload 10, 11 videos a day. It was something crazy like that, right? When I was like two years ago or something. You know, uh, it's just things have changed. I've, I don't, I think I've burned myself out thoroughly on doing that consistently for such a long time, and, you know, it is what it is, I'm not gonna quit YouTube at any, at any, you know, in any sense, uh, in any sense, but definitely I'm going to slow it down like I've, you know, like I've obviously been doing for the past couple months, like, you know, there have been times where I've gone five days in a row without uploading anything, and that before, you know, before this year, it would have been unimaginable that I would go any, like, even two days, even one day without uploading anything, so that's just something you guys, something that I feel needs to be said that, you know, videos will not come out as consistently before unless I have a good reason to pump out a lot of videos all at once. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll find a reason to make a lot of videos. And, um, you know, if I can find myself, if I can get myself in the mood, which building the new computer will hopefully make me do, then, and, you know, make me stream a lot more too, because now that I'm back home, I have Ethernet, I have the capability of streaming, you know, reliably, though I should test that, uh, sometime on my own privately or something but um yeah hopefully you know I will go back to uploading a lot but you know just don't know just don't know and be you know I would like to see my channel grow but you know as guys if you guys have kept a tab on my subscriber count it hasn't really grown all that much uh, ever since I hit my three-year anniversary for this channel it really hasn't and um, normally by this time, um, you know, I would be about a thousand subs up, maybe two thousand if I'm lucky. If you know, if I kept uploading videos, but obviously that's not that's not the case. I've only gained like what five hundred or so since uh, this summer, and for me, that's not a very fast you know rate of growth at all. In fact, it's pretty damn slow. And um, seeing that increase a little bit would you know would make me would give me a, a little bit more of incentive to. Uh, continue doing YouTube like I did before in the past, you know, constantly uploading and shit like that. So, but that's just another thing that I personally take care of. That's, it's, you know, it's, I feel like that should be mentioned, but I won't, I'll, I'll try not to dwell on it any further because that's honestly my own problem, not anyone else's, especially not you, uh, yours as, as a viewer of this channel. So, anyways, that's that, and what else is there that I want to mention? Also, I think this is going to be a last thing that I will mention, um, if you guys pay attention to my Commodore's videos, um, ever since I got my new mouse, which is the Logitech uh, G500S, uh, if you guys know that, I, I, you guys can go ahead and Google it if you guys want. Um, ever since I got this mouse, I've been noticing that every time I play Combat Arms, um, the the vertical movement is just very wonky. I don't know why it caught my mouse does this. My previous mouse was just a shitty $40 or $30 mouse that I bought from Best Buy or something. I honestly don't know where I got it. But it was just this generic, you know, thing that you see, mouse that you see, like, on the stands, on the shelves, if you go into, like, an electronic store like Radio Shack or Best Buy or Fry's. And that thing, honestly, I feel like does better in combat arms than my, like, my, my Logitech mouse does. And that's not the only strange thing. This mouse only does that for combat arms. If I play Counter-Strike, or if I play, uh, um, Soldier Front 2, or if I even play any other first person shooter, it doesn't have that problem. And but if I play Combat Arms, all of a sudden, if I tr if you guys have probably seen uh, in my recent Combat Arms gameplays, where if I try using a sniper rifle and I try um, flicking my mouse up. Like if I if I'm hard scoping at one area and all of a sudden someone you know shows my scope but they're above my crosshairs like the middle of my screen then and I try to 
you know, obviously drag my scope up in order to shoot them, because obviously that's what I need to do, you know, you, 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 might, you might see my scope kind of wobble a bit to the left or to the right, depending on where the enemy is in, in uh, relation to my, to my crosshairs, and before I reach him, or in, in some cases, I just go way off, because, you know, fucking, for some reason, my mouse thinks it's a good idea to, you know, Make my make my cro crosshairs go diagonally whenever I try to move it up. It's very weird. My my previous mouse haven't done, has never done this. Maybe it's a setting that automatically got changed in uh, in my Combat Arms client that you know when that happened when I wasn't looking or something like that during a new update or something. I don't know, but the fact that my my Logitech G G five hundred S mouse does that only for that game, only for Combat Arms, and for no other game is just mind boggling. And I really wish I could find out why I did this, because, you know, maybe it's just way too sensitive for a game like Commons, I don't know. But I really want to know why it does that, because that is honestly, I feel I feel it's honestly holding me back from getting, you know, a lot of good clips, um, uh, you know, playing, playing CA. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's just very strange. Maybe this mouse is just kind of weird like that. I don't... I don't fucking know, but in any case, that's the last thing I want to mention, but, so yeah, um, that's just this, a uh, brief, as fast as I could, uh, make it, uh, state of the channel, video, commentary, whatever, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, and, uh, a lot of you guys have been wondering, oh, where's your commentary, stuff like that, um, here it is, so I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.